You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I want to I go to Dr. Corey A. Bear, who's down there in New Orleans. Doc, glad to have you on the show. Uh, this, 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 it is very stark what's happening in Louisiana. Uh, with his coronavirus, co coronavirus cases. I remember a couple weeks ago, uh, a friend of mine, she, uh, her, she said her son talked her into taking him to spring break in New Orleans, and I texted her, what the hell were you thinking? I'm like, do you know what the hell is going on in, 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 uh, in Louisiana, especially in New Orleans? Uh, and then when I sent her the story, uh, they uh, booked an earlier flight out uh, the next day to fly back early. I'm like, that's the last place you should be flying to. Right. So th this is the deal, Roland. It's, uh, people that don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. Um, you can look back to the the, uh, the Spanish flu in 1918. Uh, they had a really bad pandemic going around the United States of Spanish flu, which was an H1N1 influenza virus. In Philadelphia, they knew that it was coming, but they had a parade. I couldn't make this up. They had a parade schedule, and they decided to have the parade and then in the next six weeks, because they had 200,000 people at the parade, and in the next six weeks, 16,000 people died. 900 miles away, St. Louis got the same exact information. And instead of going on with their day, they actually quarantined and shut everything down. And they only had 100 deaths in the same amount of time. That's where we actually get that flattened curve and that spike curve. So this virus, which is a coronavirus, which is the same type of virus as SARS and MERS, um, we've been waiting on this. It comes about once every 100 years, and it's so close to, to 1918, 2020, okay? And we had, in New Orleans, a giant parade. And so what's happening now is everybody was one foot away from each other. Everybody was talking, drinking. It was kind of cold outside at some point. It's rainy. Um, people were picking things up off the ground, putting it on their heads, kissing, and, you know, that type of thing. And so this is what we expect. I've been saying this for the last three weeks now. We are expecting the numbers to go up and to go up very rapidly, partly because of the new cases, but partly because we finally got the test. But I need people to really understand that um, as this, these numbers go up, you really shouldn't get more and more upset because across the country, the number is going to go up and up and up because this virus is a animal virus, which means no human outside of China over the last three months has any immunity to this at all. So everyone is having to make an immune response which means older people who have no real ability to make an immune response are dying. Younger people who have autoimmune diseases or are pre-existing illnesses or uh, hypertension, diabetes, um, uh, obesity, these types of things, they are also at a very high risk. Now, of course, everyone is going to say, well, my cousin, Pookie, you know, is 35. He died. He was absolutely fine. Yeah, my best friend, Jonathan, was 50, and he was fine and, and died. Those are, and, and I'm not saying this, Anthony Fauci used his words, these words, those are people are outliers and one-offs. You're going to be able to see your friend that, that, that did this or your cousin that did this. But public health as, as a whole, those people are, are not going to be the lion's share of people that are uh, going to be dying and having a, a fundamental difficult time with this virus. Doc, when you, li when you hear Donald Trump stand at the podium and actually say we're almost at the end of this, and then when you hear him talking about how it's going to be glorious to have packed churches on Easter Sunday, April 12th, what's your response? Um, that's setting people up for a disaster. Not only is, this, is that going to be a disaster, what people don't understand is we have to look at this, this virus that, is, that we don't know much about to begin with. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, this virus is going to go away for the summertime all right, and it's going to come back in the fall and kill more people or, or, or hurt more people. This is something that we have to continue social distancing because it's not an airborne virus. It is a virus that, when, as I'm speaking to you right now, if you were here, you can't see it, but I'm spitting on you for all practical purposes. When right. I'm breathing, my respiratory droplets are coming out of my nose just by just talking. That's why we're recommending if everybody stays six to eight feet away from each other, then that won't land on your clothes, and then you touch your clothes or your face and then touch your eyes or your nose and get in. 
So the problem is that we have to continue to social distance, but people are not really listening, Roland. And if they don't listen, this is going to be a real problem. And it's going to be a real problem. And this is this is the bigger issue for black people. It, this is going to be a real problem for old black people. And this is... A, I need to hear your grandmother tell me a story. I need to have those recipes. I have to need that leadership. The young people, by and large, are 80% of people are going to be absolutely fine, okay? But it's the older people that are going to have these issues, and we're going to lose a generation of people of culture that we're not ready to lose. Well, it's, it's uh, uh, guys, get the video of, of Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick ready. Uh, he said something last night on Fox News that was so sickening, so despicable, uh, that it, 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 it was ju it just made no sense whatsoever. Uh, Doc, go ahead and play it. I want to show y'all the stupidity of Lieutenant Governor of Texas, Dan Patrick. Lieutenant Governor, I work 12 or 15 hours a day, mostly from home now, but I travel when I need to. Uh, I'm living smart, listening to the president, the CDC guidelines, like all people should, but I'm not living in fear of COVID-19. What I'm living in fear of is what's happening to this country. And, you know, Tucker, no one reached out to me and said, uh, as a senior citizen, uh, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren? And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. My message is that um, let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. Dr. Aber, this that idiot literally said, "Hey, old Americans, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll be on our own in order for our kids to to have a financial future." So what? The kids don't give a damn about grandmother and grandfather, uh, big yeah. mama, big daddy don't care about their parents. My parents are 72 in yeah. Texas. So what I'm supposed to say, hey, you know what? All right, so for the sake of my nieces and nephews, why don't y'all go ahead and die right now? What the hell? Well, you know what? Look at look at culturally how that group of people treats their elderly and treats their their uh, their, their young people. I mean, this country is the only country that doesn't have paid parental leave. It's the only country that you can't you know um, take care of your children with free daycare. Only industrialized country, so we treat our our, our children horribly. We put our they, they put their their family members in date and uh in, in elderly uh nursing homes by and large in large numbers and they don't even treat their pets well in that in that culture so when, when you see that that's that's what they think and so you know we and, and, and people of color tend not to think that way you know we, we think about uh living more communally and taking care of our older people and that's that's not something that i'm i'm thinking that's just in the literature you know what i mean i'm not trying to be you know racist or anything i'm just saying that's that is what we read in the literature, that these communities just do things differently, and that's, that, and that's evident in, the, in his statement. But, would to, but to be a lieutenant governor and pretty much say, let's just leave our elderly citizens uh, out on, on their own to survive, that to me is sickening. Final comment, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Aber. What is it? I want you to remember this, though. This is very important. I need people to remember, please do not panic. When you panic, it makes it seem like the, there's no logical thought in process right now. There are a lot of people actually doing a lot of logical thought, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, who I know very well, and he's trying to take care of his business. But what I don't want you to I want you to not to panic because if you panic, you increase your cortisol level. Cortisol is a steroid. It is a fight or flight hormone that comes out when you are nervous and upset and anxious. As you increase that level of cortisol or steroid, your, it makes your immune system go down. If your immune system goes down, then you're more apt to get the virus. So the more you panic, the more apt you are to get the virus. So what I need you to do is I need you to relax in this situation. Stay at home. Control what you can control. You can control washing your hands. You can control making people take off their shoes before they go they come in your house. You control how much you eat uh, and, and, what, and what you drink, meaning eat vegetables. Don't drink a lot of alcohol. Don't smoke and eat uh, and, and get your rest. Drink water. Those things are very important. Uh, yes. All yes. right, Dr. A. Bear. We appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Take care. All right, folks. Um, I'm going to go back to my panel on that one. Mel, what, as a Republican, what what the hell was Dan Patrick talking about? That I, 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 I thought Republicans were pro-life. Like, like the hell with the elderly? Really? Yeah, I, I have no idea what your home state's lieutenant governor was talking about. Yeah, but that's my home state, yeah. but he's your Republican. 
that that that's all right. I mean, your state voted for him, and that's okay. No, 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 no. Uh, they voted for him. I didn't vote for his dumb ass. I used to do. I used to do a Sunday show, uh, KPRC called Newsmakers. It was a Sunday, uh, uh, like like a Sunday morning show uh, that aired. And Dan Patrick was batshit crazy then. And so, no way in hell I would. He just got crazier when he became a conservative radio talk show host and then ran for the legislature and now is lieutenant governor. Uh, and so I tweeted, he's an absolute national he's an embarrassment uh, to any Texan. Uh, but, I mean, but to say something like that, hey, yeah, I'll take the trade off. So to hell with our grandparents and our parents to protect, what, the 401ks of, of, of people? Jeez. Yeah, I, that, that, that it's, it's, this is the first time I heard it when listening to your show. And it's a ridiculous statement to make. I don't, I... I, I, and normally in these type of situations, you say to yourself, well, let me understand, you know, let me see the fuller tape so I can understand it in context. But you really can't get around what he just said at that particular moment. It's kind of hard to explain it. So, no, it's not something. And, I, and obviously, this is not a Republican thing. He just happens to be a Republican saying this type of stuff. But Well, he, he says you know, a whole bunch of other crazy, batshit stuff, Kelly. So this ain't the first time Dan Patrick... Uh, has shown how much of an idiot he is. And I, I'm, I don't have any quotes that uh, prove that. I, I trust you when you say that he said a whole bunch of dumb stuff. Oh, because I know. If you say a whole something lot. Like, a whole lot. A whole lot. Well, again, I trust you on that. But at the end of the day, it was just really insulting to me because my last living grandparent is 89 years old. And she only lives in Baltimore. I live in D.C. And I can't go see her because I know that I could be a carrier for something that could take her out. I can't go see my mother because she's immunocompromised. And even though she's younger, you know, she, she'll be 60 this year. I can't go see her. She can't come see me, even though we live relatively close, because I'm worried that I could be, you know, be the reason that she could be taken out of this world. So I don't take this lightly. I don't see how a leader of a state could take this lightly either or worse, prioritize money and profit over his constituents who voted for him. It is beyond absurd. It is absolutely disgusting. And he's talking about himself, if you really think about it, like he's in that upper echelon of age where he could be taken out by this virus too. And, you're, and he's saying, I'm willing to die for for money that I'm not even going to see. And again, this ties back to that whole uh, the whole church sentiment. Like, these are people who consider themselves to be evangelical Christians and following Christ and, you know, doing the right thing, pro-life, all of that stuff. And the last thing that they are talking about, the last thing they seem to be caring about is people's lives. So the hypocrisy is real with this. Yep. And I would just urge for people to just Ignore it. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't know. Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago, and I saw uh, this guy who had this, this pocket square here, and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down, the. it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they make these about 47 different colors. And so I love them because, again, as men, we don't have many accessories to wear, so we don't have many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. And what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that but if I wanted to also unlike other because if I flip it and turn it over it actually gives me a different type of texture and so therefore it gives me a different look so there you go so uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these shibori pocket squares we have them in 47 different colors all you got to do is go to rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all right so first of all that graphic is way too small so uh, tomorrow we're gonna run it right down here all across the screen so it's rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all you got to do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this now for those of you who are members of our bring the funk fan club there's a discount for you 
to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all see me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who's a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, it goes to support the show. And again, if you're a Brenda Funk fan club member, you get a discount. This is why you should join the fan club. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.